Hi there and welcome back to another wee episode at Station Road. I thought I'd just jump in between parts one and part two of this scenery area around the viaduct with uh, this video uh, in regards to the static grass applicator and some selections of static grass that I have here and a wee experiment that I just wanted to carry out before I actually embark on further static grass application on the actual layout. Now, um, as I mentioned in the previous video, this is a, a new applicator that I've made up uh, from Electric Fly Swat, and um, I have yet to test this, so this will be the proof in the pudding as to whether uh, this is going to work. We also have here some static grass which is made by uh, uh, Hecke. Uh, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, uh, it's German. Uh, made static grass and the only reason I buy it is because it is stocked locally here at my local model shop and it is comparatively cheap uh, compared to other brands uh, hence why I uh, buy this stock here and uh, just uh, bring up on a quick screen there these are the actual brands so uh, we have I think it's like a two and a half or three mil which I think is the um, uh, the light brown one then we have two different color selections of a six mil uh, static grass so there we have it now uh, what i wanted to actually do is have a go with trying out the static grass on different types of glue and also different uh, sort of substrate as well uh, because i just sort of wanted to see how well these are going to go under closer inspection and basically there's going to be sort of three different types of uh, experiment there is going to be using two different types of PVA glue uh, just straight out of the out of the, the pot uh, then there is going to be uh, a glue the same glues again but with a few drops of lemon juice added and uh, I'll go into why I'm using lemon juice because I've heard before that it does actually improve the static connection uh, between the applicator and the actual glue itself and then finally we will look at a spray adhesive as well uh, because this of course is particularly used a lot uh, when you're layering uh, more than one lot of static grass so uh, we'll also look at that as well so well, just looking at the um, actual glues themselves and this idea of lemon juice uh, let's have a look at this in a wee experiment. So here's our wee test that we're going to do. Uh, lemon juice, plain old water. Uh, that is a wood PVA glue and uh, another type of PVA glue. Uh, so we'll just have a look and see which one is the best at carrying a bit of current. So lemon juice first. And we seem to have about 13.5 in the lemon juice. So that's that one. All right, so we'll clean these off because I think it's important that we uh, wipe off any uh, stuff from the previous substance. So we'll try the water, see what this does. So that actually creates a lot of resistance. where it should be down to zero. So water is clearly, we're up well up 200 plus and because um, I'm on the 200k scale so it's actually even goes off that. Uh, so there's a lot of resistance in the water. And we'll go with this glue here. Now this is the aesthetic PVA glue, I think it is. And it's still dropping, but uh, clearly you can see it has far less resistance than water in terms of a uh, electrical current. So we're looking at about 29 there for that PVA glue. Right, uh, now this is just a standard um, kind of budget PVA glue in here, just a wood PVA glue. 
and um, it, it is quite sort of um, uh, watery this uh, particular glue so we'll just try this and it's got a little bit less resistance by the looks of things uh, than the this PVA glue here so this PVA has greater resistance than that PVA in terms of a um, static or you know electrical current it's getting up there it's getting pretty close to I'd say these are very very similar in terms of um, electrical resistance so that's around about the 30 mark and then if we go back to our lemon juice let me just pop these in there and that's that's definitely a less resistance like so the lemon juice is about 10 the PVA glue both glues are really about 30 and the water of course is 200 plus um, so based on that there, um, on those uh, readings the theory is if I put if you put a few drops of um, lemon juice into your PVA glue mix in theory that should reduce the resistance thus therefore making your static grass application a little bit more effective so we're just going to put a few squirts of and I think we'll use this PVA glue here put a few squirts of lemon juice in this PVA remembering that this was at about 20 about 25 to 30 uh, so we'll pop some lemon juice in there and I think what we'll do is we'll just tip this in give it a mix around now of course I put probably a little bit too much lemon juice in here to be honest compared to the glue mixture but uh, this is just purely um, just to sort of demonstrate whether this actually does work so um, this should be the number should be less than what it read previously so yeah it, it's definitely um, reduced the resistance uh, within the uh, substance so um, it you know possibly roughly by by about half uh, it's sort of reduced um, the uh, resistance right uh, so anyway uh, it would seem that experiment with the uh, lemon juice does seem to improve conductivity or at least reduce resist, uh, resistance uh, within the actual liquid so uh, what we've got here is I've just painted up a grid and um, there's just um, some basic brown acrylic painted up so we'll have PVA1 and PVA2 PVA1 and PVA2 which will have the lemon juice in it and then we'll have a uh, spray adhesive uh, applied to this one and then this one here I will glue uh, some pre-assembled static grass sheet uh, which is also actually a Hickey pro product I'm just going to glue that onto that grid and spray that with uh, spray adhesive and then apply static grass so uh, and I'll also zoom in quite close on this so we can actually see it in action and hopefully uh, we might see some variation in results uh, between all six uh, squares so uh, let's get to it
quite. So I've sprayed these two squares now with some spray adhesive and we're just going to see how this goes with the static grass. Right, okay, now that was a somewhat interesting experiment and I would actually have to say uh, quite inconclusive results actually. Uh, so if we just sort of take a closer look and I'll just uh, use my phone and hopefully this will uh, be able to zoom in. So we had the, the straight plain boring old PVA and I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it, it just depends on the angle, but the uh, budget PVA, when it dries, it actually, although it dries clear, it does dry with a bit of a, a gloss on it, so you get this sort of reflection, but I probably can't pick that up in this video. Uh, then we had the uh, uh, budget PVA, but with the lemon juice, and I would honestly have to say that uh, the lemon juice actually makes no difference. So um, um, I did read about it somewhere. Um, I did see some videos about adding lemon juice, um, but I would actually say the jury's out on that one. It hasn't really made any difference. Both results to me are actually pretty good. And um, I guess if anything that's been um, demonstrated in this video, of course, is the uh, static grass applicator works brilliantly. <laughs> the number two PVA, which was the more sort of more expensive PVA, really no difference. Uh, the only difference here is that it tends, it would appear, it dries actually matte finish, so you don't get this sort of glossy effect um, in the grass. And with the lemon juice added into it, really no difference. Now, what I did actually find very, very curious is the spray glue did not work at all. Um, when it was being applied, when you saw it being applied, it looked like it was working and it um, and the static grass was making it stand up on the end. Um, now, and I let this, um, all of these grasses dry overnight. Uh, come this morning, when I got out the vacuum cleaner, to vacuum up all the excess, it pretty much sucked the entire lot off. And the same for this one, it really just had no effect whatsoever. Uh, so uh, that particular spray glue is um, pretty useless for doing stat static grass. So lots of people uh, in their uh, videos for applying static grass refer to spray glue. Uh, now. Uh, interestingly, I don't think I've come across someone who's actually specifically mentioned what they've used unless it happens to be WWS uh, spray glue because that would seem to be the only uh, glue that people seem to be using. Um, now, that is specially designed glue for static grass, so I would expect it to work. And um, there is the um, layering spray there is um, the just the standard spray glue um, and I and they do work I mean I've seen plenty of videos where uh, models have actually used that particular glue from uh, what is it World War Scenics and uh, yeah it, it works great um, the only problem is I would have to import it from the UK you, you, there's nowhere in New Zealand you can buy any of their products at all uh, so this, of course, is a video about what's available at hand here in New Zealand for me. So the uh, spray glue that I used that didn't work 
is this spray glue here, which is just your general multi-purpose spray glue. Um, now, I did think that this would have, should have worked, um, particularly when you want to do layering. So that's spray gluing an existing uh, surface and, uh, and then applying more static grass over the top or any other kind of vegetation as well. Um, so um, yeah, that um, that was not a not a successful product. Now I'm wondering, and this is going to be experiment um, 2.0, <laughs> is whether I use a water-based um, spray adhesive instead. So I bought this here. This is water-based. So we're going to just give this another quick go now um, and see what kind of result we end up with. Right, so I've uh, sprinkled that on and um, the static grass applicator works absolutely brilliantly actually. Um, so it's all standing up. I've probably, um, you know, gone overboard with the static grass on that. Uh, now we're just going to leave that to dry. Right, so we have some success with the spray glue. So if we just come in and take a closer look. So that is just the straight spray glue onto the painted square and uh, this has had a thorough vacuum and it has all stayed there uh, mostly so that has actually worked out really well and then if we have a look at the um, layered static grass uh, that has actually worked out really well as, as well and if we sort of come down, you can actually just sort of see where it's added extra length to the grass. So the initial experiment, of course, used this spray glue here, which is just a general multi-purpose spray glue. And uh, as we saw, it did not work at all. And the vacuum cleaner pretty much sucked the entire lot back up. So that is not much use. So the successful spray glue of course is this one here. The water-based spray glue uh, made by the same manufacturer and uh, interestingly when you actually spray this out it, uh, it sprays in a, a sort of a white um, colour similar in appearance actually to PVA glue so it makes me wonder whether this is kind of basically PVA glue under pressure um, but Regardless of that, it's clear that the water-based spray glue um, is vastly different and um, more effective for static grass. So uh, I think that's where we'll leave it for our static grass slash glue experimentation. And although some of our results were more or less inconclusive and, in, well, essentially the lemon juice really didn't appear to make a great deal of difference. Uh, so we're not going to worry about that. And in terms of the standard PVA glue just straight on to the painted surface, I'm going to be using this. It's, to me, it's a, uh, the preferred glue. Uh, just painted on straight, neat glue, not watered down or anything like that. Uh, because this was the one that when it dried, uh, it didn't have a, have a glossy uh, sheen to it, whereas this glue here, which is your kind of more like your budget household PVA glue, um, although it's just as good in terms of stickability, uh, it does actually leave a, uh, a glossy surface. Uh, so you can sort of see in between the uh, static grass, you can see a almost looks a little bit like glitter when light shines on it in a certain way. So um, it's definitely that which is the Gorilla Aliphatic glue, whatever that means, and the water-based spray adhesive. So uh, there we have it. So, um, of course, the next video, which will be coming out in a, in a couple of days' time, will be continuing on with this viaduct scene, uh, where we'll actually be using this, these products here that we have tested, 
uh, plus also doing some foliage and some other interesting sort of methods that I've just recently come across in another video. But all will be revealed in a few days' time. So uh, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you very soon. Bye for now.